Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna show you how to compress your images automatically in Gulp by building a compressed task that you can maybe just run once or maybe run every time that you get new images, or maybe you're using images a lot and you wanna have this running all the time. So we're gonna show you how you can compress and remove metadata from your images using Gulp. So what we need to do is first get the image uh, min package for Gulp, and the one we're gonna be using is Gulp image min. I'll leave the package and this page in the description for you. And what you can do is just go ahead and copy this npm install command directly. And we're just going to install this the same way we've installed everything else. I, of course, have to use sudo because of my environment, um, but you can try it without sudo first. If you get permissions errors, then go ahead and use sudo. So I'm going ahead and installing this gulp image min. Okay, so we now have gulp image min. Now what we can do is add this to our gulp file the same way we have before by just requiring it. And we're gonna require this as just image min equals require, and then inside of here, gulp image min, just like that. Now let's go ahead and make a new task. Um, I'm just going to make it right here under our styles task, and this is going to be our image task. And what it's going to do is it's just going to compress. Great, so now we need to give it a name. It's just going to be image. And we're going to be looking at the source. Now the source is just going to be directly in our IMG folder, our image folder. So we can just say IMG, and then the type of files we're looking for is anything in our images folder. We're just going to assume if it's in our images folder, it's an image. Now let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff in here because obviously it's SAS related. And now let's go ahead and just uh, period pipe. And then inside of here, we can just run the image min function, just like that. And now after that, we can pipe in a destination. So just like we have before, uh, we're going to, inside of the pipe, we're gonna do gulp period dest, and then in parentheses, now we're gonna put in the destination. The folder that I want these to show up is going to be in build and then forward slash img. So just like that, this is where we want them to end up. And then we're gonna finish it all off with the semicolon. Cool, so that, that works. Let's go ahead and just run this task. Actually, better yet, let's go ahead and throw an image into this image folder. It looks like I just have that SVG in there now. So we might wanna have um, at least another image in there that we can see this in action. And I'll grab some images of different types. We have this image of sketch app. Okay, that's a PNG. And then I'll grab a JPEG as well, just so we can see multiple file types in action. Okay, so I now have several different file types in here. I have a ping, I have an SVG, and the ping is 127 kilobytes. The SVG is one kilobyte, and this is a big image. It's a wallpaper, it's giant, it's 1.6 megabytes. So we're gonna see how this image compression affects all of these images. So let's go ahead and run our gulp image task. So we're just type gulp space image, enter. And it looks like after five milliseconds, it has completed our task. Now if we open up our build folder, you'll see we have an image folder. And you can see we have our home here, our logo.svg and our wallpaper. Let's go and see what these sizes ended up being. You'll notice that even this SVG, the white space has been removed. That's pretty cool. So let's come and go to, so let's check it out. It looks like our wallpaper started at a 1.6 and is now uh, a size of 1.4. So that's uh, 0.2 megabytes has been removed. Our logo.svg is now only 589 bytes, which is awesome. It used to be uh, one kilobyte, so it's it's pretty much half that. And then we have this home hero, which was 127 kilobytes and is still 127 kilobytes. It's very possible that that image had already been compressed. I did pull it from their website, so uh, most likely 
they have compressed it. Let's go ahead and see if I can find an image that I know has not been compressed. Here's a screenshot that I've taken uh, from my computer. So this one I know will not be compressed already. We can say it's an image, here we go. This screenshot starts out at 260 kilobytes. We'll once again run that task. This time it took just one millisecond longer. And let's check this out. So let's go to our build. And instead of 260 kilobytes, this image is now 189 kilobytes. So you can see that's a considerable difference. So compressing and optimizing your images couldn't be any easier. You write this task once and then every single time you add a new image to your folder, you can have it uh, compress it. And if you wanted to, you could just have the destination be your image folder, like so. Now, when I run our task, gulp image, it's actually just overwriting the current images. So now we don't have this extra build folder, but inside we have our image folder and you'll notice that our compressed images are now living exactly where they were before. So this is excellent. We've now just thrown this task in and anytime after we've added images or anything like that, I mean, you could set up a watch task to watch for images to be added and then run this. I mean, the possibilities are really just at your own command because that's really what Gulp is all about. So check it out. Compress your images, get those things smaller and smaller because that's going to make your page load faster. 100 kilobytes is 100 kilobytes that you don't have to load. So check it out, Gulp Image Min, and that's how you compress your images with Gulp. You can now subscribe to Level Up Pro to get premium features out of Level Up Tuts for $8.99 a month or $95 a year. And this comes with downloadable videos. You get an ad-free experience on Level Up Tuts and you get to feel good about supporting Level Up Tuts. Now we're also filling the site in with code examples, but that's taking a little bit of time, so they're not all there yet. So keep checking back and we'll have more and more code examples available for pro users. So check it out. If you have gotten a lot out of Level Up Tuts, give back and help Level Up Tuts uh, grow and just keep making more content by subscribing to Level Up Pro. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.